Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, what we're going to talk about is answering the question of when you're creating content for the first time, what should you be talking about? Now, if you're in the content creation business, you're in the business of creating content, you have some sort of purpose for doing it. Chances are those purposes are either one of the following few options or offshoots of this. It's either to display your expertise, to build authority, or to add value. Usually one of those three or a subset or or an offshoot of one of those three. What you might be thinking is if you are trying to display expertise or you're trying to build authority or add value, what is it you can talk about? What is it you can get talking about to display that expertise, to build that authority, to add value? So this is where I like to use kind of the flip side of the coin to help you wade through these unknown waters. So there's a difference between what you believe you should be talking about to do those one of those three things, if not a combination or all of those three things, versus what you genuinely want to talk about. And as a byproduct, you can build those three things. So what I would encourage you to do is to do two separate recordings. And, and if this is your very first time doing anything like this, I recommend taking the camera, covering it. Don't even use video. Either record an audio directly into, I'll, I'll list a few options here, directly into the Dropbox mobile app. So you can definitely do this on Dropbox iOS or you have an an account with otter.ai record the audio right into there those are just two options um because when you're trying to find your voice but also seeing a video stream of you you're getting a lot of input and even can get distracted by the visual elements because video is naturally a medium that brings out insecurities, doubts, and second guessing. So if you ditch the video input intentionally, as I said, cut off the video. If you intentionally cut off the video, you can focus on what matters to build a foundation for creating content now and creating content tomorrow and creating content the next day, the next day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And that is finding, discovering that voice of yours that empowers you to go from the first piece of content to the second, to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, and reduce the risk of running into a burnout phase. Because if you're running into a burnout phase with content, there's a really good chance you're not empowered by the themes, the topics that you're choosing to discuss, that you're choosing to get talking about. Now, I threw uh, a good amount at you in this one. Uh, If you have any questions, I encourage you to reach out to me directly. Um, I'm going to get myself on um, a new social media platform where I'm going to field more direct DMs. But for the time being, I highly encourage, if if you've seen this video and you want to continue the conversation, to send me an email to randy at talkingnowmedia.com. I look forward to talking to you in the next one.